Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'd like to talk with you about opening WP and Trust files. Now, if your system says WP and Trust, you know, says that it's a WP and Trust file, it may actually be a Microsoft Works file. Uh, there have been occasions where uh, someone has had uh, WordPerfect installed on their system, either in a trial mode or they later uh, removed it, and files that were created with WordPerfect have a similar uh, three-letter extension, WPE, um, those are the real and trust files, but sometimes when you deinstall or the trial period expires, it somehow gets messed up and uh, Windows will incorrectly associate WPS files, which are Microsoft Works files, with uh, WP and Trust files. So you want to check that. If it is a w .wps file, that's probably a Microsoft Works file, and you can either go find a copy of Microsoft Works somewhere, or you can go to the Microsoft website right here, where you can download an adapter uh, for Microsoft Word that will allow you to open it. Um, but if it happens to really be a WP, uh, excuse me, a, a WP and Trust file, it'll end in .wpe, then you'll need something that can read those types of files. And that's where you can go to the Corel's website and get a, a, a trial version of Microsoft, excuse me, of WordPerfect, and you can use that to open it. But you'll also need to have the password to the file because it's an encrypted file and it's encrypted with a password and it's got a pretty good uh, encryption algorithm, so you'll be very hard pressed to uh, brute force that. You probably won't be able to. Um, what you'll have to do is either know the password or be able to make a good guess and figure it out because, uh, like I said, it's gonna t it'll take forever to, uh, to crack that password. My name is Matthew Pierce. Today we talked about opening WP and Trust files. Thanks for watching.